Hey, Isaiah here. I just read some new data on postdocing and whether or not it actually helps your career. Really, really shocked me. I want to share it with you. I want you to follow me. Make sure you watch the whole video because I'm going to talk exactly about your situation and what you need to do to change it. Things are really, really bad in academia right now. When I was in grad school, I wish I had this data because my PI, he kind of held a carrot in front of me when it came to doing a postdoc and getting into a professorship. He said, getting into a professorship is difficult. It's supposed to be difficult. Only the best can do it. And so I thought, I want to be the best, right? Because as PhDs, we like challenges. So I dedicated myself to get doing the best science that I could. I was going to do a postdoc no matter what it took, no matter how bad the data looked on the outside in terms of my career prospects, no matter how impossible it was going to be to get a professorship, I was going to do it. But then, Finally, I had a, a mentor, somebody else who's on my thesis committee that said, you might want to start considering other career paths. But I wish I would have had this data, the data I'm going to go with, uh, over with, with you right now. So what I've found out, what this data shows, is that doing a postdoc damages your career. Now, if you're in a postdoc, you know, there are things you can do to save your situation, to still make sure that you can excel in your career, but you shouldn't stay in your postdoc, okay? You should get out of it as soon as you can. If you haven't done a postdoc yet, don't do one. And I know that's a bold statement. I'm going to back it up with data here in a second. Okay, professorships, do not let your PI or some lifetime academic or something you've read convince you that it's just challenging, it's supposed to be hard. It's not challenging anymore. It's impossible to get into a full-time professorship. You have to understand this. This is something that we are very, very passionate about teaching you. So I'm going to go through the data here with you carefully. First, it takes 15 years 15 years. When I saw this data, I couldn't even believe it, so I'm going to show it to you. This is a brand new figure from a Nature Biotechnology article, okay, that just came out. Now, what you can see here is that what they looked at is the career paths for people who did not do a postdoc versus those who did, all right? This bottom line in every case are people who did a postdoc. This is their salary and career trajectory. And they, they tracked it in academia as well as government nonprofit and in industry. What did it show? All of them together, it takes 15 years, look at this, 15 years for someone who did a postdoc to catch up to somebody who didn't in their career. Unbelievable. Even in academia, it took, if you, if you count statistical significance, 10 years. Okay, 10 years, maybe eight, maybe eight, again, counting statistical significance, to catch up to someone who did not do a postdoc. Doing a postdoc damages your career, whether you're in academia, government, nonprofit, or in industry, okay? You have to let that sit for a while. That's the hard data. This is nature biotechnology, okay? This is not some random article with a low impact factor. This is the hard data. This should shock you, okay? 15 years, even in academia. Even in academia, it's eight years if you take statistical significance into account, and again, Notice that line never catches up. If you do a postdoc, you will never catch up to someone who does not do a postdoc. Now, this doesn't mean you give up on your career. It just means that you work to get out of your postdoc and into a, a full-time industry position, government nonprofit position, something outside of academia as soon as possible, okay? Number three, full-time professorships are down 61%. Now, I wanna show you a, a figure here, another figure. If you look at this data, this is also from Nature. This line here, this is the increase in PhDs being awarded year over year. This is just the US, but the trend is similar worldwide. This line right here is the increase in professorships. Obviously, there's a lot more white space here, okay? That's not good for you if you want to stay in academia. Now, you might be thinking, well, at least this professorships line, line is going up a little bit, right? That's what I'd be thinking. But is it full-time professorships? No. Instead, full-time professorships are being replaced by adjunct professorships, assistant professorships, part-time professorships, right? Contract professorships. These full-time professorships are being replaced by cheaper alternatives. And this is happening worldwide, right? If you actually just look at full-time professorships, this is the trend that you see. So this is from Trends in Higher Education. Look at the trend line, looks a little bit different, right? And this is just a 2011 almost from 80% in 71 down in 2011 to 50%. Currently in 2019, it's down to 20%. Okay, full-time professorships will be extinct in five to 10 years. There's a lot of people out there, namely 
professors, right, the few full-time professorships left that, are, that will tell you, oh, you can still get into a professorship, right? It's still happening. But you have to look at the data. You have to look at the trends. There will not be a professorship for you. So it's not a matter of getting into a position that's challenging and beating the competition. It's a matter of defying logic, okay? It's a matter of going towards a dead end. There are no full-time professorships. If you want to be a part-time professorship who gets paid very poorly, gets paid a third of what you're worth in industry, by all means do it. But at least take ownership of what you're doing. Do it with open eyes, all right? Also, if you're doing a postdoc, realize here's more proof that post, the postdoc situation is bad. The average postdoc length now is usually six to 10 years. And that's usually over the course of two to three different postdocs. This looks so bad for universities now that they're starting to change the names of postdocs to things like staff scientist, right? A lot of you have seen this. They'll take a postdoc, give them a name change, not give them an increase in pay. Why? Just so it doesn't look bad for you, the university to have so many postdocs who have been in their postdocs forever. All right, so if you're in a postdoc, it's time to get out of it. It's time to learn how to transition into an industry job where you're paid what you're worth and where you can do meaningful work. If you're a graduate student and you're thinking, oh, I'm just gonna save myself some time in a postdoc. Maybe you heard from some lifetime academic that a postdoc's gonna help your career. The data shows that it does not, okay? Why, are we, why do we care about this so much? Because we wanna see PhDs like you get into jobs where you're paid what you're worth. Our motto is to remember your value as a PhD. You are much more valuable than you likely are being treated right now, than you're likely being paid, than you likely feel, okay? You can do meaningful work and be paid well for it. If you wanna learn more about transitioning into industry, if you wanna see more of this data, we'll send you our free data packet, our free resume guide as well. Just go to phdsgethired.com, phdsgethired.com. If you enter your name and email there, We'll send you all of our materials for free. We have a special LinkedIn training webinar next week. You'll get an early seat to that if you sign up too. Don't lie to yourself. Don't let others lie to you. Look at the data. The data doesn't lie. I look forward to seeing you. Remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.